me now, Indiana Congressman Andre Carson. He sits on the House Intelligence Committee. Thank you for being with me, Congressman. Thank you for having us. You tweeted, to the people of France, we stand unified with you. This morning, all of France is in our hearts and in our prayers. Uh, it certainly is, I can tell you, being here, walking around, talking to the citizens here, telling me they don't want to be scared, but they are scared. This nation has gone through far too much. Just 10 months ago, the Charlie Hebdo attack, and now 129 innocent lives taken, nearly 400 others injured and in the hospital. In terms of an, from an intelligence perspective, we know that ISIS has claimed responsibility. We heard what Secretary Kerry and Francois Hollande had to say earlier today. Anything you can share with us from a U.S. intelligence perspective on this attack and potential threats to the homeland? I will say that when it comes to the intelligence apparatus, uh, the United States is a global leader in terms of uh, the strength of our intelligence community. Uh, that is also to say that our European partners and our Middle Eastern partners have been critical in the fight against terrorism. ISIL only represents itself. It doesn't represent Islam. It doesn't represent any religion. It is an organization that is uh, uh, being led by countless manipulators. And many would argue that it doesn't have a traditional centralized command in which they can launch strikes like other terrorist organizations. But we know that they have sympathizers. We fought uh, in America against an ISIL sympathizer uh, down south uh, at a military training facility. And, you know, it's, it's something that it, it has become a greater challenge for our intelligence uh, agencies to counter, but we're working together with law enforcement officials what? day and night to eliminate the threat ultimately. You know, you heard uh, President Obama saying in that interview this week on, on Good Morning America with George Stephanopoulos that, that ISIS uh, has been contained. Now, to be fair, he was speaking about on the battlefield in Syria sure. and Iraq, and we have, we have seen that. But when you look at that and now you see what has happened, this really what has evolved into a new stage of ISIS's ability, this coordinated attack, six different locations across Paris, arrests in Belgium, arrests in Germany a few weeks ago potentially tied to this, the coordination. I think is staggering and I wonder what you think it tells us about what needs to happen as this war on ISIS as Francois Hollande deemed it today an act of war uh, is carried forward. Well certainly our, our, our hearts go out to uh, the victims their families and the people of France. I think the president is right in terms of having a battlefield context but in the abstract we're fighting against an ideology we're fighting against a mentality um, that that doesn't have a clear objective all we know is that they're harming people they're harming people from all stripes and all religions and they don't represent anything remotely religious it is a terrorist organization that 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 clearly has troubled people as a part of it and as we move forward we would love to see as we're seeing in France right now, a united front across racial, religious, and cultural lines, mm -hmm. we would love to see a global united front against this and other terrorist organizations. So on that, on that front, Congressman, uh, there is this unreleased video. Uh, or uh, released, I should say, rather undated video that is urging Muslims who are unable to travel to Syria, for example, to, to, to wage war, uh, to carry out attacks here in this country in France. You are the first Muslim to sit on the House Intelligence Committee. I'm interested in, for you personally, when you see something like that, when you hear a perverse message like that, what do you think and what do you say to, 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 to everyone out there who may be receiving this video? Well, the there are nearly two billion Muslims on the planet. While the religion is, is monotheistic, it is not a monolithic uh, uh, religion. Uh, I, I, I will say that most Muslims are peace-loving Muslims. They condemn these actions. As someone who sits on the House Intelligence Committee, I'm also a former police officer. I think I'm the only member of Congress who has served in a Homeland Security Intelligence Fusion Center very proudly. I can say that there are scores of Muslims in our country and outside of our country who are working in our law enforcement agencies and intelligence communities, quite frankly, who are helping to thwart attacks and who are working vigorously in making making sure that the world is a better and safer place. You know, Congressman, as, as one uh, young couple just told me earlier this evening, I was speaking with them, uh, they said, I think we need to get to all know each other 
a little bit mm. better. It won't solve all problems, but we need to know one another so we don't kill one another. And that certainly resonated oh, wow. with me. Uh, Representative Andre Carson, I appreciate your time this evening, sir. Thank you. An honor. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to take a quick break. Much more from Paris live after this.